Don't you want to become a cult leader? Since the death of God, there's been a vacancy open. You could fill that void. Here's how. For those that missed me, I'm sorry. For those that were big haters while I was gone, it's okay. You do you, boo. I just decided to take a little mini vacation from TikTok just to kind of cool myself off from all the fire that's been going around. So I'm back. There's no stopping me. There's no stopping the storm, the fire that is the bidet. So the fat, overweight, middle-aged, balding man that you just saw then is Buddy Haynes, also known as the Buddha, or, well, was known as the Buddha on TikTok. But we'll get to that a bit later. Now, what you all saw then was real screenshots of the Buddha sending messages to various of people, and um, it just doesn't look good, does it? So to give you some context, the Buddha, or Buddy Haynes, used to be a TikTok phenomenon at one stage when, you know, TikTok was relevant still. And he used to do these very awkward dance videos in which loads of people put in cringe compilations and of course you know people found it funny and decided to follow him which of course gave him the power to manipulate young female fans on the app. Now aside from the cringe compilations that he was commonly featured in a lot of people realized that this man wasn't all innocent he wasn't just a fat man trying to get a few quick laughs he was actually a more sinister pedophile as such and that came all apparent once he started doing duets with young children and this isn't me fucking, you know, trying to slain this guy. This, you know, this has been talked many of times, but from the evidence that I've saw, it's a fucking strange. This guy is, you know, he's lost a lot of platforms because of the accusations that have been made against him. And he hasn't denied them, or the denial that he has done is very little. So, of course, you know, he just doesn't look innocent. Once he made these TikToks with these children, they got a lot of response. They, you know, these children saw a increase in followers, in hearts and likes and, you know, views and whatnot on this fucking shit application. So more and more children thought, hey, I want that. Um, let's contact the Bode and see if he will do just that for me. And children used to contact him and he used to contact children in order to set up this sort of duet. But he used to do it in a way where he was like, hey, I'll give you some relevancy if you look at my dick. He was just such a fucking weirdo and loads of people didn't really realise this until evidence came forward that he was a massive fucking strange man. The one particular screenshot that I saw is... It just shows how strange this man is. You know, the photo is a photo of someone's iPhone, of course, with the Buddha messaging them, uh, with the caption, I've been missing you. And in the background there, you can see that this person's in school doing maths. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. And once all this evidence did come forward, nothing happened to him. Nothing fucking happened to him. All this evidence, all these videos that were made against him, even with the lack of evidence at the time, it just did nothing to him. He didn't even get his TikTok removed. He deleted that himself. And then once he got exposed and all these people started commenting on his TikTok saying he was a pedophile and shit, he just disappeared and that was it. People assumed that he was in prison and he was locked up and, you know, he was getting probably fucking beaten up or something. But the facts are, he's in his house still making content on Instagram, Twitch and other platforms by the name of Freak Alpha. There's other videos that go deeper and deeper into his whole different fucking personas on the internet where he's got different platforms and he tries to hide his identity on others but yeah he's not in prison he's still free he's he's doing content still and there's still underage people that he is talking to okay so i'm looking at his instagram right now he posted something 23 hours ago 23 hours ago 23 hours ago 15 hours ago he's very active he's not fucking you know one of these people that just don't upload or anything um he's constantly constantly posting clips and whatnot um and this is what his Instagram reads. It goes, Buddy Haynes. This is his only account, level 27. Hashtag gamer dude. Hashtag affiliate. Hashtag future cosplayer. Fucking hell, please don't. And then Apex, Fortnite, BO4, MK11, and Overwatch. Hashtag freak show fam. On his latest posts, he's got nearly a thousand views and it's been up for a day. 
I can see two comments that look as if they're from underage girls. So anyway, seeing that he has got a new account and everything, I decided to do a little test to see if he will still talk to a underage person. So I posed as a underage girl named Alice on my friend's Instagram account to see if he would reply. And little behold, he did. So um, the conversation goes as followed. I said, hi, OMG. Oh, okay, before I start this, this is a bit cringy now. I'm, I'm trying to be like a, I'm trying to impersonate a young girl, see if he will reply. Because if I was just talking the way like I would, he wouldn't reply. But anyway, <laughs> It goes, hi, OMG, buddy, so happy I found you, remember me, I'm Alice, we talked on Kick, Snapchat, I'm, all, I'm so happy I found you again, I'm still big fan of course, he he, I think so, vaguely, vaguely, I told you like a thousand times how much I adore you and stuff, I even told you I had a sight crushing you, he was shocked, XD, damn. I'm an arsehole. Ha <laughs> ha. Damn right you are, you pedo. I didn't say that. Lol. I'm so sorry. It's okay. What do you look like? Well, I'm white, blue eyes, blonde hair. I'm young, but I'm not any I'm not blonde anymore though. <laughs> I was hoping to get a picture of you. <laughs> oh, XXDD. Sorry. I'll send one later. I'm a mess right now. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to XXX Tentacion. Fuck it out. <laughs> I doubt you are. No, ma'am. I am, buddy. I look like a state. <laughs> Lol, what? A mess. Doubt it. Like, I, I didn't. I just couldn't be asked with the conversation. But the dude was like trying to get a picture of me, even though I said I like I'm a young, old fan of his. And he was like, Oh, I vaguely remember you. That's bullshit because I'm a made person, you dumbass. But then, um, you know, he goes ahead and still asks for a cr uh, a picture. Not once, not twice, but three times. Bit of a fucking bold edit weirdo. Um, I couldn't be asked to speak to him anymore and he doesn't listen to X. So um, all around, he's a bad guy. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know why this guy's still got a platform. All the videos that have been made on him, on him, all the evidence, all the fucking accusations, and there is solid fucking evidence out there. There's loads of videos of people saying that, hey, look, you're a pedophile, mate. Um, that's my video for today. I hope everyone's enjoyed. If you haven't, then drop a dislike. If you have enjoyed it, then of course like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do, as I do get lonely. Okay, thank you all. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. Mwah. Imagine for a second you went outside, you opened the front door, and H3H3 was just stood there. He had his belly out, and he was doing Vape Nation. The question I have is, would you laugh if you saw that, or would you just be like, damn, that's H3H3, can you hear the staffy? <laughs> that's H3H3 stood at my front door. Would you do... <laughs> Why are the dogs going mad for? Can you stop? Can you stop, please? I was gonna make a joke about the game grumps. <laughs> oh man, I just wish it was 2016 again, for fuck's sake.